Hey, welcome back to Anthony's Horror and More, and today I want to talk to you guys about Thanksgiving. Yes, I'm going to give you my non-spoiler review for the film Thanksgiving with John Carver as your killer, you know, your mysterious masked killer, um, which I'm so happy that we're getting another whodunit slasher film, you know, that pays homage to a lot of other slasher films like Scream and Halloween you definitely get references towards those and it's just nice seeing uh you know a movie like this where it's like ooh, i get to guess who the killer is you know is it this chick is it this guy i'm just gonna say him he him whatever just uh you know that's how i'm gonna refer to the killer uh but it could be a woman could be anyone but yeah, I thought this movie was very well made. I mean, it looked really good. It doesn't really look like an Eli Roth film so much because it's very glossy and, you know, digitally produced. And I, I'm used to him having a little bit more grit and grain to his films like Hostel 1 and 2 and Cabin Fever. But it's a new age we're living in. That's, you know, how they're shooting films nowadays digitally and stuff. And it is what it is. But the kills and everything and the gore and the blood that you get in this movie it's pretty brutal i mean they give you a lot and they don't shy away from it i mean you know eli roth he loves him some carnage candy <laughs> you know and there's plenty of it in this movie i also love the aesthetic you know you get tons of thanksgiving day decorations you have a thanksgiving parade um they're really leaning into that whole aesthetic of the holiday that you know and black friday as well so you know that's awesome there is a lot of uh fucks dropped in this movie they say fuck a lot you know in the opening 10 minutes i think they say it at least 50 times i mean keep a little clicker when you're there and let me know but it's pretty ridiculous, you know, and I guess that's just today's generation, you know, not that they didn't swear in older movies, but not nearly as much as they do now. I mean, it's just crazy. And that was one of my big complaints with the movie is that I can't really relate to these younger kids that they have in the movie, like these teens. Uh, you know, I just think they're kind of vapid and annoying, but you know, uh, Jessica, who's your, you know, your final girl. I mean, she was okay. She just didn't really have much personality. And then some of her friends were like, especially one, this one jock, the guy that's in it. I mean, he's just so over the top and annoying, but, but, you know, they, I mean, they were okay. You know, I just missed the characters that you got from like Scream. And I know you did last summer in Urban Legend. Like those characters had a lot of personality to them, you know? Uh, they were funny and, you know, you actually genuinely somewhat cared when they got killed off. But with these characters, I was just like, ah, whatever. You know, I was actually, I even said, uh, I went to go see this with my mom because she likes slasher movies and stuff. And I told her, I'm like, I'm rooting for John Carver in this movie. <laughs> like I told her that after the first 10 minutes of the movie, I'm like, yeah, I'm rooting for the killer in this movie for sure. Because he's you know, these teens are all annoying as fuck, like these high school students, I mean, they're just like, oh my god, you know, they're all on their phones, and you know, they got their social medias going, and all that shit, I'm like, uh, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, uh, definitely, so, there's, John Carver has so much personality to him, and you'll see this, I don't want to spoil anything in the movie, but you'll see, like, whenever he's, you know, killing anyone, or, just like little there's little things little nuances uh you know when you're following you know his character around and stuff there's just little things that you're like oh that was cool i like that you know very playful so yeah i think john carver will be a horror icon for years to come we'll probably get a thanksgiving movie uh every year i bet you know with john carver whether it's you know i'm not gonna say whether they live or die or whatever you know what i mean but you know someone will be donating that mask i guarantee you every thanksgiving um and going on a uh a rampage in that town <laughs> you know um so yeah so overall i mean i really had a pretty great time with this movie I uh, just wish that, I hope that for the sequel, maybe they can give us some fresh characters or maybe, 
um, you know, work on some of the ones that were in this, you know, I don't want to mention which ones, you know, but, you know, just work on them, work on their acting a little bit better, give them more personality, better dialogue. There was one guy in here who was like the comedic relief who, um, tries to sell them guns and stuff and different weapons to, so they can protect themselves. That guy was hilarious in the, in this movie. He felt like an Eli Roth type character. Uh, so I got a big kick out of him and, you know, shout out to that guy. What is his name? But that actor did a really good job and yeah, I don't know. I really like that actor. I was trying to look him up, but <laughs> he was good. He was very good. Um, Patrick Dempsey's in this, you know him from Scream 3, uh, you know, Sydney's love interest in that, you know, and ends up being her future husband in the other films, um, but, uh, yeah, he, he's in this, I thought he was great, you know, he plays, like, the, you know, the sheriff of the town and everything, uh, it's always nice seeing him in a, a horror film, and you have, uh, Rick Hoffman, who is in the first hostel briefly he's got like a cameo but i think he's excellent in that movie um and you have some other faces that you'll see that you'll recognize i'll be like oh that guy that girl the uh, you know oh um uh yeah gina gershon another another one great actress she's in it um so yeah a lot of a lot of solid um performances in this as well as some lackluster ones but it, it's you know maybe with some subsequent rewatches, i'll enjoy it more and more i can't wait to get this on physical media um hopefully they give it more than just that basic bitch blu-ray that i've been seeing on blu-ray.com i'm like come on it doesn't even look like it has a slip cover or anything i'm like this thing should be getting a ton of special features a badass slip cover um you know, a steel book. I, I mean, they should be doing it out for this movie because you know it's going to sell well. Just the horror fans alone are going to go see it multiple times. You know, I really hope a, a studio picks it up like a boutique label and gives us a ton of special features and, and a, you know, the addition that it deserves. I, you know, I hope so. Uh, but NECA, I'll tell you what, they've got all sorts of products coming out. They've got a Toonie Terror coming out. They've got an ultimate... Uh, John Carver. They've got a John Carver cloth edition. They've got plushes, you know. They've got all sorts of stuff coming out. So NECA is like balls deep in John Carver. <laughs> like they're going all out. And yeah. So overall, uh, I'll, I'll just give you, I'm on Letterbox now. I started doing that. Um, my name's Anthony's Horror on there. Um, so if you want to go follow me on Letterboxd, go for it. But on, on that, I gave it a 3.5 with a like. So I, I did enjoy it. I look forward to rewatching it. Maybe that score will go up. Maybe it'll go a little down. Only time will tell. You know, it's hard because when you first come out of a movie seeing it, it's, I think it's tough to gauge because sometimes you come out too excited. Sometimes you come out where you're like disappointed, you know, because you went in with high expectations. So I think a 3.5 with a like is fair for now. And then on subsequent viewings, you know, we'll, we'll, I'll see where it goes. But that's how I'm feeling as of right now. So, yeah, please go check out Thanksgiving. Let me know your opinions down below. Try not to spoil anything, though. Um, and, uh, yeah, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.